Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Delphine and in this video we are going to see the five autumn winter trends that I will definitely not be following. Um, I based myself out of a video for these trends uh, that I did where I showed all the autumn winter trends as shown in articles, magazines and so on, so Vogue, um, Harper's Bazaar, all these kind of publications. And I've made a video where I summarize them, classify them, group them. So I will put a link to it here in case you have not seen it yet. And I also did a video that you maybe have already seen where I showed um, the five styles I will definitely wear, the five trends I'm so excited about. Um, and now we are going to look at the basically opposite of that, which are the five trends um, which I will for sure definitely not be following this autumn winter. This is just, again, little disclaimer, this is just my opinion, of course. Um, this is based on my body type, on my style, on um, my everyday life uh, and everything. I don't mean by that that these trends are not cool. If you uh, love this trend, if they suit you, if you like them, then please go for it, enjoy, have fun. That's what fashion is here for. So just enjoy them. This is just really me based on my size. So I'm a petite, for example, um, and all these kind of things. So the first trend I will be not following is the tie. So ties are coming back uh, this autumn winter. We already saw them quite a lot in the people also attending the fashion show. A lot of people were wearing them. Um, and this is just not for me. <laughs> um, I'm a scarf girl. I wear a lot of scarves um, all, all the time, almost um, one differently. Not at home. I tend to put them on when I, when I go outside. Um, but I love scarves. And, yeah. and I will sometimes also wear them when I'm at home and I need something to upgrade a bit more if I have a very simple t-shirt for example um, but ties I don't know ties are just they're just not my style um, I don't see a way to make them work for me basically so I I'm not a fan um, not for me <laughs> Then a uh, second trend I will be passing um, is this big shoulder uh, padded uh, blazers trend this is pretty cool um, I like the empowering message behind it and, and everything and I like um, when tall women and so on it can make a beautiful silhouette but I'm small again I'm a petite and on top of that I already have quite broad shoulders for my size and um, the few times where I wore blazers with, um, with a bit padded shoulders not as padded as the trend is currently but a bit padded and then I thought ah it looks so cool and then you know you see a picture of yourself and then you're like wait a second no 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 <laughs> i mean based on just one picture you could always think okay it's, it's everything but then yes and sometimes you just take a bit of a step back and you actually realize yeah it's cool but maybe not for me and my silhouette and um and that's a bit my my thing with uh, heavy padded bla blazers i tend also not to wear that many blazers because it's not so easy to find um, the right size, the right fit for me. Um, I have a few and I like them, um, but it's not it's not a staple in my wardrobe, I would say. It's not something I reach uh, for a lot. I tend to wear them more in a, in a business environment, very simply. And so, yeah, so padded, these big padded shoulders, unfortunately, they will be a pass for me. Then uh, in the embellishment category, uh, we have feathers. Feathers are coming back. And feather here, it's a very, I would say, practical and pragmatic <laughs> reason. It's just either you have like really you have something, you know, fluffy with a lot of feathers, which can look lovely, um, but I don't have the time, <laughs> nor the energy, nor uh, anything uh, to take care of this kind of garment, because of course, uh, feathers are extremely fragile and delicate and it's not something you can easily wash. I also have two small kids. So I can kind of see from here the mess it would be if I would wear something with a lot of feathers. They would love it. They would love it and they would probably pluck each of these feathers one by one <laughs> with me running away uh, trying to escape them. And I mean, picture of disaster. <laughs> so, okay. And even beyond that, even if they would not touch it, um, yeah, then to take care of it, to clean it, uh, you have to bring them to the dry cleaner and everything. It's just too much for me. It's just too much work for me. It looks great, but it's too much work. 
and there were also some other variations I showed them in my so in my video about the train. For example, this little top with just one feather here looks pretty cool. But I can't really imagine myself walking through the city center wearing just a feather as a top. I, I don't have uh, the style for it. I don't have maybe the confidence for it. I don't know. I would admire, I would see a woman walking by, rocking that, I would be like, wow, good for her, go girl, enjoy, have fun. Um, but I personally don't feel like this is something I could pull off. So, no, no feathers for me. <laughs> then um, another one, number four, is um, this leather trend. Uh, leather, um, I have no problem with it. I own, I don't own much leather, actually, I have like a, a skirt like an A-shaped skirt in leather. Um, I would like one day to have a nice leather jacket, maybe. Um, but otherwise, I mostly have bags and shoes in leather. Um, but this winter, autumn winter, it's also leather kind of as a fabric, as I explained in the other video. And this is not something I will go with. Um, I can believe that, for example, when Bottega is doing these shirts, uh, these leather shirts that look so beautiful that they look like real shirts, I can assume that this version is probably quite comfortable because of the craftsmanship and, and the quality of Bottega Veneta. Now, um, I don't have the budget for something like that. And even if I could theoretically afford something like this, I will not put it in, in a piece like this, which I think is quite trendy. I, I don't believe this is necessarily something um, you will be wearing all the time for many, many years. So I will not necessarily put this kind of budget into it. And then if you go for a more discount version, then I'm afraid it might not be very comfortable. Um, because if the leather is thicker, then every time you will move, it's... I don't know. I'm just not one person convinced for yeah i not my thing <laughs> i don't have much more to add to it uh, i think this is something that will look beautiful if um if you have the body for it if you have the budget to buy an expensive version or you know also if you don't really mind um being a bit uh, impaired or having yeah, maybe it's not the most comfortable thing but it looks good and this is the most important then of course then this is great I have to admit, I can sacrifice a bit of comfort for some clothes and some things uh, when I think they look good. But um, I think this is just going up slightly beyond well, how far I'm willing to, to go in this uh, comfort sacrifice. So I don't know what you think uh, about it, um, because leather has always been for me something very interesting. I see a lot of people also wearing for example, leather pants, and it looks very cool. But I cannot help thinking I will be so uncomfortable into them. And I don't know because I've never owned any, so of course I, I don't actually have the experience. And maybe I'm completely wrong and they are the most comfortable thing of the universe. And I just don't know. <laughs> so if you have experience with all these uh, leather things like leather, typically leather pants or, or more uh, skin contact leather things, um, please let me know in the comment below. Um, I would be very curious to know um, how it actually is, or if it's indeed just sacrificing a bit of comfort for the good-looking aspect, which I totally understand and respect, and then it's just just not for me. Yeah, let's see. And then um, I have one last trend, which is definitely not going to go by me this year, or almost definitely. It's pastel colors. Um, I like colors. I'm 100% in favor of wearing colors the whole year through. I don't see why should fall and winter be all gray and dark and everything. Of course, the weather outside tends to make you want to wear a bit more darker things, but why not bring a bit of color, you know? So this is not so much the, the thing. It's more that I like um, this pasta. I feel like it's still winter, right? So you're still going to be cold. So you need um, quite more bigger garments and and then i don't know i feel like a complete pastel look like what we've seen it's a bit too much even in summer i will not do it unless it's a dress but i will not necessarily even in summer wear a pastel pants with a pastel top and now in winter um where it will be on top of that a pastel pullover so you will be really like pastel pastel i'm not sure i think the thing is also because of my skin tone and so on 
it's not the kind of color that, that suits me the best. And so going full look with pastel will be too much. Um, I like a bit of pastel here and there. I have like light pink pullovers or things like that, uh, which are great for the, for the winter. But I will not go with a pastel pant and a pastel top. That's a bit too much. I, I like color. I will go more for bright colors um, and, and not so much those, those very pastel colors. Then, um, as a little bonus, uh, one trend which I think I think it's a pass for me, unfortunately. But I say unfortunately because it's a trend I really have liked to wear more, and I've been trying once, and nah, it was it was not a good look. But maybe I still need to just find the right uh, garment. It is camel. Camel has been here since already a few seasons, latte or whatever you call it. I saw it, it was been called latte outfit, camel outfit, where you are basically having a pant and the top, I mean, you, you, your monochrome camel. And it looks great. It looks really cool. I find it looks really chic. It looks really elevated, very elegant. Um, and I tried my own version of it because I own camel pants and I do own a camel pullover. So I thought, hey, and no. No, it did not work. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I have also so brown hairs which are made too close to that color, but I think girls having the same kind of hair color and making that trend work for them beautifully. So I don't I don't really know. I feel like it's gonna be a pass for me because yeah, I tried, it did not look so good and might be one of the things that looks nice in the pictures or looks nice um when you really have um yeah, it's, it's your job or you're dedicated to it and, and, and you can make it work. Um, in my case, I tried um, and it did not really work. But I'm not 100% giving up, so it's, it's a half pass, let's say. Let's see, it might come back from the dead. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know what you think. Uh, what do you think uh, about this, uh, this trend that I will pass? Um, are you going to follow some of these? Are there also hard pass for you? Um, are there other trends which are for you going to be a pass? Maybe trends I decided I will follow and um, you decide, no, no, they're not for you. Um, I will be curious to know it. I always enjoy uh, discussing, talking with you in the comments. So please feel free to tell me your opinions down below. And um, yeah, I will see you maybe in another video that I will put here in case you have not seen it yet. If you enjoy this one and you want to see more, then you can of course subscribe to my channel by clicking there. And then I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye guys.